live from Studio 23. Hello, welcome to the St. Anne's video report for the weekend of May 31st. Uh, to top off the news, the girls went down to Sherbrooke, our second team, and they won uh, 20 odd points to nothing in the rain. Uh, apparently we have some incredible video from down there, but the girls, uh, we haven't gotten it yet, so watch for it in the upcoming uh, days or weeks. Where we do have some excellent uh, video uh, footage is from the under-18s uh, clinic at Ecole St. George on Saturday, where Joey Austin and the John Abbott team ran the St. Anne's Juniors. There was a terrific uh, turnout uh, through um, some uh, practice uh, drills, and then, there, and then there was a game. Let's go right away to Walter Crockstone live at Ecole St. George. Crockstone? I'm Walter Cronkstone reporting live from the Junior Clinic at Ecole St. George in St. Anne de Bellevue where we've had a, close to 40 kids, maybe you can focus over there, turn up today in the rain, uh, a good turnout, we expected more, the rain kept a few away, but a good number. Uh, one of the players that showed up and wasn't able to practice was Johnny Patterson, uh, the Mack High Scrum Off, he was injured. Johnny, how did it feel to take the Mack High Bulldogs to their second consecutive uh, GMA final in your first year of rugby? Well, I'd have to say it was uh, quite an experience. I've uh, never actually liked rugby before this year, but uh, I hope to uh, be turning out to play for St. Anne's and uh, hopefully lead them to the finals. Uh, hey, there's a plug. It there's must, a plug. It, it, must, plug. Must, yeah. it must have been the coaching <laughs> hey, staff. Hey, you're the cameraman. Let me do the speaking, okay? <laughs> and now I just we're going to ask one of the, if you come over here, we're going to ask, this is Angie LaRose. <laughs> have you got enough light here? Take off your sunglasses, Angelo, you see oh, your beautiful face. Yes. <laughs> her daughter, her daughter Lee. Lee plays for Lindsay Place and she showed up here today. She's out there practicing and tackling in the rain. What do you think of the whole setup here? I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I you think she'll good. enjoy it? I'm hoping yeah. she looks look good. She hasn't complained. She's and, wet. <laughs> and you, you think you'll come out when she's out, you'll come out and be, be following her and stuff? Oh yeah. And that we're really looking to forward to. This is Walter mm -hmm. Cronkstone reporting live from the junior clinic. Yes, it's wait, wait. Walter Cronkstone, fresh off the field, the junior practice here. What did you think of the junior practice, Jughead? Uh, I thought it was Who won awesome. the game, the high school All-Stars or Abbott? The high school All-Stars. Looked all -Stars. like the All-Stars, Jughead. Was, they had a little week out it there. Was. Yeah. Got to get out the where's, uh, where's Mickey? Yeah, he is. Where's Mickey? Mickey, we're going to interview you here. Mickey, one of the star players of the game, plays for Lindsay, plays midget. You can see why they won. Nice try at the end there, Mickey. Say a few words. What do you think of the game? Yeah. And is there free food? There is free food. Yeah, thank you very much. Walter Crockstone live from the Junior Clinic. From down under, we've got some great news from Too Tall. And just incidentally, I should mention that at the Junior Clinic, uh, his younger sister, who we're calling Too Tall Too, uh, showed that she's got some uh, great potential. But from down under, Two Tall's club side won uh, an important game. And we've got uh, some uh, reports live down. If we can go, it's, uh, if we can go now, do, can we get through? Uh, Two Tall, can you hear me down there? Uh, uh, what do you got to say about the games? Hi there, I'm here with uh, Norman, the ref of today's game between uh, Grandma Carlton uh, and Tamaki RFC. What did you think about the game? Today? Pretty good win uh, to Grandma 1910. They played well, some impressive uh, back moves, good clean game, and a pleasure to see uh, Grandma come out on top. Can't say that well after the game, but uh, it was good to see. She so went very well. Yeah. And good line out forward, too. <laughs> cool. Here we have one of my uh, teammates, Yasu. He's another international player from Japan. Say hello, Yasu. Bonjour, ça va comment ça va? See, he knows a little bit of French. He's a good guy. Come on, you replaced me. You replaced me in the front row. Par he did a par good job. Oh. We won the game today. There's a big power sub. Good stuff here, Grandma Carlton. Now we're gonna get some jugs. We get ruined. Yeah, especially when we won the game today, eh? Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonsoir. Hey, it's too tall here after a hard-fought 1910 victory over Tamaki. Guys, the game is over. Ready to go home and have a bunch of beers and uh, watch the Super 14 final between the. Um, the Crusaders and the Waratahs. Uh, like to wish uh, all the Caribou guys good luck on Sunday against the Rock. You guys uh, deserve the victory. You've been working hard, and I wish I could be there with you. Good luck to everybody at training and in the beginning of this season. Uh, I'll see you soon enough. Cheers. Um, in other news, uh, later on Saturday, the old boys played uh, Beaconsfield. Uh, it was a terrific game. The rivalry between those. Those great teams in the 80s has never ended. It was uh, some incredible rugby. Uh, old school got in a couple of runs, and I believe we have some uh, some uh, video footage from from the game or from the field. Let's go. Let's go. Crockstone, can you hear me? 
Cronkstone again here at the Beaconsfield Field for the 25th anniversary where the old boys just tied five all against the Beaconsfield old boys. I have their captain Keith Matthews. Congratulations on your 25th. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. It was a good game. It was a great game, hard hitting game. You had the minis out this morning? We had minis at 12, yeah. touch rugby with the old boys. Actually, that's why we were a little fatigued by the yeah. time we got to the game. But and tonight we're going to bar the bar and yeah. Bob's. Black line. Yep, yeah. see you there. And uh, it was a good day. Everything you all told the juniors this morning. Uh, thank you very much, uh, cameraman. And we'll sign out now, pump it up. Uh, we'll see you next week. Saturday night, uh, we went to Jesse's uh, housewarming. That was a lot of fun. Sunday, um, Sunday the Caribou um, played. We, uh, we saw them play a strong game against Newfoundland, but that Newfoundland has a, a very, very good team and ended up winning 39-8. Uh, 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 next week, um, the Caribou play at our field at Ecole St. George. We're hoping to have a good turnout there to watch them play an English university side. Uh, the women Caribou play on Saturday. We're hoping to support them. Uh, we're hoping everyone comes out on Tuesday. Uh, juniors are going to practice that night as well, uh, the, junior, the junior men. And uh, depending on the interest, we hope to have uh, an exhibition game early Saturday so we can still go see the women caribou or perhaps drive up to Ottawa and catch uh, Canada play uh, Scotland. That's the video report for this week. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much.